God of all that is. As we build our lives on the firm foundation of faith in you, inspire us, we pray, to be ready to respond in your name to the needs of those around us. May the strength you give us help us to be willing, where needed, to deal with change. And may your love give us the strength to support others in their times of vulnerability. Continue to build your church, we pray, so that more people may come to know for themselves the love and the strong foundation you offer. God who comes close to us. As we think about the homes, villages, towns and communities which are familiar to us, we pray for those whose concerns we are aware of. And as we ask your blessing on them, we ask also that you will help us to become more alert to and able to respond to the needs of our families, friends, neighbours, colleagues, and those we do not yet know, but who we will meet in the coming weeks. Sovereign God, we hear news from around the world of the impact of the pandemic, of violence, injustice and abuse of power, of parts of the world dealing with emergencies such as the fires in California. There is so much, so much suffering, so many people trying to make a difference. We pray, God of love and mercy, that your spirit will be at work and you will guide and inspire those who can make a difference to know how to act and to have the courage to do so. We ask our prayers in the name of Jesus, who taught his friends to pray as we do now, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And now let's sing together. Lord, the light of your love is shining. Shine, Jesus, shine. 